nobody own anything. God takes what he want, when he want to take it, including taking you. Whenever man and woman understand your reason, the reason God made you was for his glory. That's the purpose that we are here. The scriptures teaches us that he created us for his glory. God have us here that he may get all of the glory out of our life, that he may get all the satisfaction out of our life. And as soon as men and women realize this, you can't look to the government of America. If you haven't found that out now, you're awful blind. Stop looking to Hollywood. They've been in a mess. And they're in more of a mess. Stop looking to your bank account. You'll soon lose that. Hey Amen. There's no need for no one to glory in nothing but God himself. Amen. Understand this. The affections of the earth and all the people of the world, you're looking the wrong direction. Everybody, heart, mind, and soul should be towards heaven. While religion is trying to get us to focus on materialism, God's purpose is for us to focus on him. That's why it takes God to make a preacher. You know, God has to send a preacher, and that preacher mission is to introduce everybody to God himself. You look at the preachers and look at religion, there's so much junk on social media now. Let me say this while it come to mind. I want to say to all of my viewers that watch the truth of God around the world on social media, there's so many scams out there. And there's a lot of people that have hijacked the name First Church of the Lord Jesus Christ. They have hijacked my name, Pastor Jennings. They have made artificial websites and fake websites just to collect your money. Amen. We're not over there begging you for money. You don't have to pay to watch us. We'll come and blow your house down free. So uh, you want to find out whether these scams, I mean, you'll find my name attached to all type of dumb websites. <laughs> and C-Rock, I got your text. Brother C-Rock text me. I know he was laughing and so was I. Uh, someone posted, uh, this just happened, I believe, was three minutes ago or five minutes ago. Pastor Jennings passed away. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. I was supposed to be a dead man. You wish, buddy. Wish. <laughs> yeah, you wish. wish. Another website, they said, Pastor Jennings have just been arrested. <laughs> they, got a, they got a picture of me oh, Lord. behind bars. <laughs> I mentioned before about another fake website, Pastor Jennings single-handedly just burnt down the potter's house. <laughs> Why don't you no good backward collar Cadillac driving manicured nail cross wearing hypocrite stop playing church? God ain't nothing to play with. So there's a lot of sites out there scams. They want you to pay them and they use my name to hustle you. It's just a hustle. Amen. So to you that uh, even in the truth of God that wants to set up websites and you that are out there and whatnot we have a uh, certain team a media team that will if you want to air the truth of God program that's fine but we have a media team for you to contact brother Dan demand is the president and they help you organize everything and make sure it's ran right that's it. And that way, uh, it is supervised by the church. That's right. Amen. Pastor Jennings, there are people that got my name on their website, and many of you people, and on Facebook also. Amen. I met with my team over Zoom last uh, night, and <laughs> some of the sites someone had on there, First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ, had our logo, and had a 
fake white artificial picture of some white fella who's supposed to be Jesus ascending up in the heavens. Lord. Now you know that's not the church. No. I preach against idolatry. Right. I preach against imagery. Right. Amen. So these fake things, so to weed out <laughs> you social media devils <laughs> that too lazy to go to work, so you want to make a living off my name. Yeah. That's right. uh, don't be surprised when your site is pulled down by our team. Hey Amen. We're going to pull you down and get you off the air and report you. Right. And so everything I want to say to all the churches, any announcement you have, all ministers, in the announcement you have of any event that is going on in any local church, you send that announcement to the media team. Yes, and that way, then they'll be able to post it. And once they uh, let me know what's going on and we verify it, because we won't be able to keep up with all of these hypocrites. No. But what we can destroy, we will destroy. Amen. Because the devil, he's in uh, hypocrite in business. Oh, yes. And uh, we refuse to allow him to use the church and use my name. That's right. Now I was scoping on it. Yeah. Right. I was gritting on it. That's right. I was checking it out. Yeah. How in the world can you look at a man that way? You a man. My Lord. My Lord, my Lord. That's something. Are you listening? My Lord, my Lord. Hear what the scripture says. Back in Romans chapter 1 and verse 25. What is it? Who changed the truth of God. This is the problem. Amen. They changed the truth of God into a lie. Into a lie. And worshipped and served the creature more they than the creator. And served the creature. More than the creator. More than the creator. He's blessed forever. Amen. So this is why it is so easy for these churches to fall so low. So low. Because they're worshiping creatures. That's right. More than the creator. And they're not worshiping the creator. No. And we only have one creator. That's right. And Christ is he. For this cause. For this reason. God gave them up unto vile affection. Look at here. Amen. Vile affections. Well, that's why the social media is all buzzing about combs. Yeah. That don't surprise me. No. No. No, no. It's been done. That's right. And it will continue to be done until Jesus comes. That's right. Churches adored it. That's right. Sir. Not just combs. Churches adored it. Amen. Bishops adored it. Bishops. So called apostles adored it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are oh, you listening? That's right. Hear this now. For this cause God gave them up unto vile affection. God gave them up unto vile affection. For even their women. Yeah, even their women. Did change the natural use into that which is against nature. The natural use is. When it's against nature, against is nature. woman want to marry woman. That's right. All right. Likewise, and likewise also the men. The men. Leaving the natural use of the woman. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Amen. They done left the, the so called first lady of the woman and want the first man. Burned in their lust. Wait a minute. How bad is their desire? Burned in their lust one toward another. I had a man My Lord. got on social media. Burned. I got thick eyelashes, long eyelashes. <laughs> the man on social media looking at my eyes. <laughs> Well, you look like you got on eyeliner eye shadow. Oh, Your Lord. eyes ain't that thick. What are you looking at my eyes that thick for? That's right. That's right. You're too close. You're too close. Another man wrote, well, your skin is mighty smooth. You must wear makeup. What you worrying about because I ain't got no wrong for? That's right. You shouldn't be worried about how smooth my skin is. No. What is your intention? What is your intention? <laughs> That's right. Are you listening? And likewise also the men. Oh, I know social media going to be hot. They down. Oh, yes. They mad. They mad now. And when you're mad, then let me know that the gospel's doing good. That's right. Huh? That's right. What is that? And likewise also the men. Likewise also your pastor. Leaving the natural use of the woman. He left his wife. Burned in their lust. He leave his wife, he leave his girlfriend, That's he right. leave his fiance because he got he looked at the deacon so long. My Lord. He looked at the altar boy so long. He was looking at Bishop running revival so long. That's right. He looking at them jumping around the pulpit in that robe. That's and right. he can't contain himself. That's right. Burned in their lust. One toward another. Now let me get it raw. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> 
My Lord, Pastor. <laughs> Hallelujah, hallelujah. You mean to tell me a bishop is up preaching mm. and men in the congregation mm. getting hard on looking at him? Oh, oh, yes, my Lord, my Lord. Men over social media. Men. Looking at men supposed to be preaching the gospel. The gospel. That's right. And you getting a hard on looking at the screen. My Lord, my Lord. That's something. Burn in their lust. They do what? Burn in their lust one toward another. That's what that means. That's right. Burned. Burned. That's what that means. Burn in their lust one toward another. You get a hard on looking at a man. Burn in their lust. Amen. That's something. That's something. Amen. Burned in their lust. There ain't no program in the world like this one. <laughs> Amen. That's right. This is raw truth. Yes, it is. This is the most raw pro-religious program in the world today. That's right. And we keep it like the Bible have it. That's right. There ain't no real man got no business getting hard looking at a man. No way. The brothers on their knees praying. It ain't no man got the business coming in, looking at the brothers. He getting the hard on. That's, that's right. That's right. That's a problem. Are you listening? Amen. Hear what the word of God says. Romans one and verse twenty-seven. And oh, what? Pastor Jenna, you could say it nicer than that. If it's it, listen, if you don't <laughs> like what is said and you get offended, check yourself out. Check yourself out. <laughs> Check yourself out. That's right. I could be around any man in the <laughs> I don't care how much you clap. I don't care how much you shout. That's right. I don't care how much you bounce around. Ain't nothing on me moving. No, no. Straight up. Amen. Let my wife walk by me. Everything moves. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I'm Amen. home many times. She walked by. I'm home. I just walked by. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> I walk by, and then I stand there and do this. <laughs> Hallelujah. Then it rings through the howls of a solitude. <laughs> I don't have no desire to smack no man. No, but no, no. You football players and basketball yeah. players. Watch that. I understand being happy over a three-point shot. Right. I understand being happy over a slam dunk. Yes. I understand being happy because I play both sports. Right. I play football and I play basketball. That's right. And I box. That's right. And I did martial arts and mixed martial arts That's up right. to 10 years. That's right. But we never got so happy, we slapped you on your butt. That's true. Man, I'm from the hood. We don't play that. That's right. You run and make a touchdown, yeah. we ain't get happy and slap you on your behind. No. No. And we did that. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. Are you listening? That's right. You basketball players, get your hands out of my pocket. <laughs> That's get right. your hands off that man's behind. That's right. You football players, get your hands right. off That's that man's behind. Yeah. It ain't that much joy in a sport that you gotta you got touch it. each other's behind. That's right. That's true. That's right. Go ahead, Pastor. That's right, no more than a preacher should be so anointed. Yes. You come out the pulpit and sit on men's lap. That's right. That's right. You're supposed to be preaching, giving a message over. And you sitting on men's lap in some anointing. My Lord. Rocking back and forth. Yeah. That's right. Oh, no greasy mouth deacon just sitting there. Go ahead, Bishop. Go ahead. That's right. The scripture teaches us that all things be done decently and in order. And in order. And in order. 